Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about how to connect and control your Gemini Lost Mandy mount with the Sky Safari Planetarium software and this little box, the SkyFi 3 module. Welcome to another Lost Mandy video. We're gonna talk a little bit about this, as I mentioned, this uh, SkyFi 3 module and controlling your Lost Mandy mount, or specifically your Gemini controller of your Lost Mandy mount with the Sky Safari Planetarium software. Um, before we get started into the details, uh, I'm gonna blab on for a bit about kind of what, what's the purpose of this and why you'd wanna do it. Um, you can skip ahead, we have chapters now in the video, so take a look below, um, but, uh, it's nice to have a planetarium software connected and controlling your mount for a couple of reasons. First, you get a visual representation of the sky that's very easy to understand. You can look around, you can see where your mount is pointed versus maybe other targets that are nearby or other places. You can actually control your mount uh, with the planetarium software. So you can move it around, you can slew to different places, you can actually use the buttons to um, move the scope either fast or slow. Uh, you can actually use it in combination with your imaging software. So for example, you can connect and look at the planetarium system, but still have the imaging program plate solve and move your scope around and you can actually see what it's doing uh, in real time. Uh, the best way to do this I found, and I've, I've done a bunch of different options and there are other ways to do it, but for Sky Safari in particular, which is the most popular planetarium software out there today, it is the SkyFi 3 Wi-Fi module. Now, this bears some discussion of what this is. This is a device uh, that is sold by Simulation Curriculum. I guess they make, Simulation Curriculum makes it. Uh, and it's, of course, you can buy it a bunch of different places. But this is their SkyFi 3 module. There are other modules uh, or previous versions of that. I think I have some over here. Yeah, so the earlier versions of this look like this. It's a little bit different, uh, doesn't have the same options. Uh, what I'm gonna describe kind of more or less works the same. Uh, the main difference is that it doesn't have USB connection, it has this RJ style serial connection. So just be aware that uh, these look a little bit different. The SkyFi 3 module is actually uh, my, my choice because it is just so easy to use. You just basically, you just plug it in and it works. How exactly uh, does this thing work? Or what, I guess more specifically, what exactly does it do? So yes, it is a wireless connection to your mount. No, it is not uh, an ethernet connection or like a wireless connection that the mount is somehow enabled. So this is not gonna be a device that allows you to connect your computer or control it via imaging. This is really specifically for Sky Safari software connecting to your mount and uh, allowing you to see what the mount sees and to, to control it to some extent. It is actually a wireless enablement. It's a, it's a Wi-Fi enablement of the serial port. And in fact, we're gonna show you here in just a second, but you use this cable. This is a USB cable, standard cable. It's what we call, I guess, a printer style. It's got the, can you see that there? The uh, square connector. And uh, this is the USB connector that goes into uh, the bottom of the uh, Wi-Fi here, sorry, the SkyFi rather. And this is actually how you connect your mount. One of the other groovy things about this is that uh, this has an internal battery. So we press the button here, it's gonna light up. Um, so you can only use it as long as the internal battery is powered up, but it's got this little USB port, it's a micro USB for powering it. And what's really nice about this is you can use just a standard USB cable. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. And uh, what's great about this then is that you can actually use this second port uh, to connect to your Lost Mandy's um, USB-A, or it's actually a five volt power source. Uh, so we can connect it both for power, or sorry, for a control, and we can connect it for power. And you can literally run this thing, not only the entire night, but I've, I've run this thing continuously for almost a week, and uh, it just does a great job. So this is a wonderful way to use that extra uh, USB port on your Lost Mandy Gemini to power this thing. So let's go ahead and we're gonna plug this thing in uh, to the Gemini and get going. And then we're gonna do a little uh, test run here to connect it up and show you the settings. I mean, show you the settings in that it's super easy. So we basically use the defaults, but I'll show you how to do that. 
and uh, let's go ahead and, and get started. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this SkyFi 3, here we go. Uh, first, uh, notice there's a little Velcro loop here. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that just like that. And let it hang there. I'm gonna take the USB cable here. Like that here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in to the USB port. Uh. Then I've added this micro USB cable. This is the opposite direction. So the sort of the smaller part goes in here. The regular USB-A part goes in here. There we go. So these are the two cables for the SkyFi. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Gemini. It's been dusty here, so sorry about that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn on, press and hold the SkyFi. And you can see both, it's both on and it's charging, which means that this thing is gonna run pretty much forever while plugged into the last Mandy. Kind of an added benefit there. And now what I just need to do is I need to make sure that our mount is powered on and it's actually started, cold start or warm start, but it needs, uh, it needs to be running in order for this to work. All right, so there we go. So let's go back inside. Oh, this is just some Velcro, by the way, beneath this. Uh, let's go back inside and uh, see how this goes. So now that we have the SkyFi 3 plugged into the Gemini, it's powered on. Uh, it's connected both on the USB, the square port for the data, and then I have the micro USB optionally connected to the uh, the five volt power out, the, the square USB connector on the Gemini. And the Gemini is powered on and it is also uh, started in some way, either warm started or cold started. In this case, I've cold started it. So now I'm on my uh, iPad. And the first thing I wanna do is I want to go to my Wi-Fi and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find that SkyFi network. And here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. It's gonna give me a warning about being either an unsecured network or no internet access, which is fine because all I'm trying to do is uh, control the Gemini. So I don't expect any internet access. So now we're gonna launch the Sky Safari Planetarium program. And the first thing that we are gonna do is click on settings and we're gonna scroll down to telescope. And uh, we're gonna do a couple quick settings here. First on the mount type or the scope type, we're gonna choose Lost Mandy Gemini. And then the mount type is a German equatorial. So of course we select that. And uh, for the communication settings here, we are definitely gonna to wanna to auto detect SkyFi and the rest of the values here, SkyFi name, port number, we're gonna leave all at uh, default values because the Gemini is pretty much ready to go for SkyFi. So I'm gonna click done. Okay, so now that we're back at the main screen, I'm gonna go ahead and click scope and then connect. And you can see that it is now slewed to the position that my telescope is currently pointed in. Uh, there's a couple options in terms of controlling the scope, but let me just point out uh, one of the, the best things you can do is you can actually scroll around a little bit and select a target uh, like Miroc. And I'm just gonna go ahead and once it's uh, actually selected, you can click go to and it will slew the mount and you can actually watch it slewing, uh, which is really interesting. I always find it's curious about how it kind of chooses the axis and which direction it goes, but uh, you can see that it's actually uh, live slewing uh, to the target. And of course we can zoom in a little bit. Uh, and you can see not only here did it slew, but you can actually uh, see the position in terms of um, the sensor frame that I have, the uh, field of view for the uh, camera I have. So we can choose something maybe as a little bit further away. Uh, let's choose maybe the Sol Nebula. And again, we'll click go to, and you can watch this uh, slewing over. Uh, it's a really fantastic way to visualize what's going on in your telescope as things are moving about. These are all relatively close to each other. Now I wanna show you something else. Um, we can, so I'm gonna zoom in here. Now, if I use the hand controller, the standard Gemini hand controller, I'm just gonna put it down here, uh, and I'm gonna put it on uh, move speed. Uh, you can see that as I use the hand controller, if I'm centering it or doing something else, you can actually see it's reflected uh, in Sky Safari, which is great. So it's not like you use Sky Safari and then you can't use anything else. It actually works in combination with your imaging software and of course with the hand controller I'm showing you. Um, you can also 
by the way, use the controls here that are actually on the screen. There's two parts, right? So there's the there's sort of this left and right uh, controls. And then there are these up and down controls, which are the two different axes. I'm not sure which is which, but I, I suspect this uh, one on the left is maybe RA and the one on the right is uh, deck. Um, but this, see, the rate uh, controls how fast things are moving. So if I go to three, for example, and change that, then you can see that it's actually moving a little bit faster. Here, two. Well, it's actually moving slower, so maybe that's how it is. Yeah, so that's what it is. So one is guiding, which is barely, barely, barely moving. But if I zoom in far enough, you can probably see it moving just a little bit. Just, man, it must be really, really, really small. So rate two, which should be centering, shows a little bit better. There we go. And sometimes this rate, the FPS is shown at the top. So sometimes it's going a little bit slower, a little bit faster. So sometimes it might be a little bit jerky. Again, it depends on the network connection you have. Three is gonna be a little bit faster again. And then four is gonna be the fastest. I'm not exactly sure what those numbers are. Maybe they aren't SLU, uh, move center and guide, uh, but they are kind of uh, fast to slow from four to one. So you can check that out. So I want to uh, finish this up by just going ahead and disconnecting it. So that's all there is to it really. It's a really nice way to actually see what's going on. You can use this to visualize the night sky to use the go-to. Uh, I'm certainly not an expert in Sky Safari. So for those folks that are out there using Sky Safari and have a lot more input, if you wanna add some, some of that information to the comments, that's great. There are other um, YouTube tutorials out there to talk a little bit more about uh, Sky Safari and telescope control. I personally don't use the align function here because I do imaging and also I use the hand controller and I'm not entirely sure if I would want to use the align function here because I would have to either be visually looking through the telescope or I'd have to be at the computer screen sort of watching this and at that point, you know, I might as well be using some of the other tools that are a little bit better integrated. But you can uh, issue alignment uh, commands. The lock, I don't know what it is. Someone maybe could tell me and uh, put it in the comments below, that'd be great. So really easy way to use Sky Safari with SkyFi 3 module and your Lost Mandy Gemini mount to get some control of your mount and uh, really do a great job of visualizing the night sky. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, please, if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe and see some more videos coming down the pike here from us. And uh, we wish you a happy rest of the year.